Little Boy with a Big Horn by Jack Bechtel. Ollie was learning to play the bass horn. Ollie was a small boy and the horn was a big horn. And he knew only one tune and it was called Asleep in the Deep. And it told about a shipwreck and brave sailors and maybe you know the tune. The music goes way down deep like this. Many brave hearts are asleep in the deep, so beware, beware. Ollie loved that song, but Ollie's mother said, please, not in the house. I can't think straight about my housework. Yes, mother, said Ollie, and he took his horn into the backyard. Beware, beware, boomed the horn. Howled all of the town dogs. Oh, bother, said the neighbors. And everyone agreed that the town must do something to stop Ollie from playing that horn. Altogether, they called on Ollie's mother. We love music, they said, but too much is too much. But the boy must practice, said Ollie's mother. Well, perhaps, but not here, said the neighbors. We must think of a better place, said Ollie's mother. Yes, yes, a better place, they all agreed. But where? Everyone thought hard. I have it, Ollie cried, and everybody stopped thinking and looked at him. I'll go way off into the fields where no one can hear me. Splendid, said everybody. Wonderful idea, they agreed. Ollie is a good boy, said his proud mother. Ollie set out for the distant pastures. The sun was hot and he grew tired, but he kept on. Far from home, he stopped at last and spread out his music and took up his horn. And first he played unk, unk, unk. And over the hill, the farmer's cows were grazing. Moo, said one. Err, bawled another. The busy farmer heard them. Drat, he said, an old muley has fallen into the ditch again. Pitchfork in hand, he came running to his rescue. When he saw Ollie, the farmer was angry. You can't play that horn here, he said. It's enough to sour their milk. Oh dear, sighed Ollie. He picked up his horn and he turned homeward and the sun shone hot on his back and he was thirsty and tired. It seems as if there's no place in the world where I can learn to play my horn, he sighed. So he went and got a rowboat and began to row far out from the shore. Some dangerous rocks marked the entrance to the harbor, but there was no bell to warn incoming vessels. And every now and then, a thick fog happened to spread over the ocean. And every day at this time, a steamship brought passengers and freight to the town where Ollie lived. Now the ship must be somewhere even now, but the rocks were hidden by this fog. I will play my horn to warn the ship, said Ollie. So Ollie stayed and played asleep in the deep. And the gulls squawked angrily, but for once Ollie went right on playing. The ship was drawing closer and the captain peered through the fog. He and his crew could see nothing, but they could hear nothing but the sea. But what was that noise? Beware, boomed Ollie's big horn, and the men on the ship were amazed. Stop the ship, cried the captain. Lower a boat and find out what's making that music out there on the ocean. And that was how they found Ollie and escaped being wrecked upon the rocks. We owe our lives to this brave boy, said the steamship captain, and all the passengers cheered. The mayor gave Ollie a handsome medal marked for bravery. And the town sent Ollie to music school. The end.